I swore off men until I met Osama. <laughs> The first thing I imagined was that was the intro for like a ISIS recruitment video. <laughs> I love Osama. And then it's just a beheading and they're like, yeah, fuck that. Let's see what Osama bin Laden looks like. Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Yo, we're back to 90 Day Fiance. Holy shit. It doesn't feel like we left 90 Day Fiance because Darcy and Stacy, Starcy. It's the same format. But I've had so many people commenting saying, talk about Debbie and Osama? Somebody's dating Osama bin Laden? I knew he was alive. This is 90 Day Fiance the other way. Okay. So these are dumber people. Right. People leaving America to go somewhere else for love. I've never seen these people before, and I don't watch these before I talk shit about them. That's the whole premise of this. I'm just talking shit about whatever is on my laptop. But it's already kind of funny. Debbie's son is skeptical of the relationship. I wonder why. I wonder which one's getting used. Let's find out. That's what I love about these stores. It's like playing pretend. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long one. I'm Debbie, I'm 67 years old, and I live in Sugar Hill, Georgia. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> How great is it that this is like, there is, she's introducing herself. I didn't do that on purpose, this is great. And that pendant, what is that, an aborted fetus? Jesus Christ. She's like, no, no, it's still living. Look at the cats in the bag. Somebody's got hats over here. She literally looks like the human version of the store. I describe myself as being perhaps a little eccentric. You can't use perhaps and eccentric in the same sentence. That should come with the death penalty. I don't know why, but I'm right. Somewhat qu quirky personality. It's so cute. It's so Debbie. Oh, God. I, I've never felt that way I just felt before. I'm so serious. I genuinely felt that in my legs. I had like a visceral reaction to that. That did not feel good. Oh, I don't know why it just struck so deep. This is so Debbie. It just felt so dead inside. I don't know. Because I was already about to say, oh, clothes seem like that's her entire personality. And then she said that and it just was like, uh. She's just an NPC who happened to be on camera. Do you guys believe in that, NPCs? How, like, most people aren't real people? I think that. I think my mom's an NPC because she, like, repeats herself all the time. You know who does that? NPCs. You ever play Oblivion? God, I should have said Skyrim, but I wanted to keep in that I did it in one take because I think that's cool. If I may use the old adage, it's like I hear a different drummer drumming. Yeah. How fucking old are you? I feel like I've heard remnants of that saying before, but I've, I feel like she fucked it up. Like you live life to the beat of your own drum. Is that, I'm going to use an old saying if I may. Shut up. Yeah, you may. Go ahead. I'm going to start a new trend, man. Okay, let's roll. She's in jail because she didn't pay for that hat. I'm going through every emotion in this video today. First, it was shock, fear, and then anger mixed with a heavy, deep disappointment. Yeah. If I walked in to a bitch's crib and I saw this, do you know how hot she'd have to be for me to ignore it? Because if she's an eight or below, I'm going, hey, what does the second half mean? Why the, like, why? And then I would keep asking why until she's crying and I'm satisfied. This is my little art studio gallery workplace where I make jewelry and sell jewelry. Kind of cool. 
that reminded me a lot of like what my place looks like. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have uh, a lot of chains. So many so that like three years ago, I sponsored a fashion show that I helped produce and put multiple necklaces on each model. And one of the makeup girls goes, is this sponsored by a jewelry store? I was like, nah, <laughs> just me, baby. And I brought it in this big jewelry box that says cunt on it. I'll show you. That was kind of a cute picture. But yeah, I, I made this. By made this, I mean I stuck on four letters. Story time real quick. If you don't like those, you might want to skip ahead. This was from, if anybody remembers, but I know that not anybody, a lot of you are going to remember. What I had, like, I took time off and I was staying in Hollywood for a little bit and was doing a ton of art. I purchased this, this big ass thing in Hollywood. I live in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. I make impulse decisions as if I couldn't find one of these in Illinois. I didn't ship it back. I packed it back. This made it so much more difficult. What the fuck is even in here? Dude? Nothing. Somebody want to buy this? I'll give you like a mystery pack of jewelry in it too. Like that, that's kind of fun. Except shipping's going to be a bitch. I'm serious about that. Let me know. All right. What were we talking about? <laughs> My home is filled with antiques and a lot of artwork. It's like a protection to be surrounded by beauty. You know, when I was a little kid, we'd go to the quarries and, and pick up quartz crystals, fossils, and we'd be so excited just digging through rocks. So excited just digging through rocks. Yeah, yeah. how did you meet this guy we're about to meet? The rocks were telling me to meet a guy online, to move out of this country and start a new life. I sell semi-precious gemstone jewelry and I love painting. I started early as a child. Okay, let's get on with it. We don't actually give a fuck about like what she does. This much, a little nice little, hey, I do art and jewelry. Great. Like, hey, I'm Mark. I do YouTube videos and I'm a stand-up comedian. Over with. I'm not gonna be like, my name's Mark. I, I've been telling jokes. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, you know. One time on my mom's Nokia, I recorded my cousin laughing after a joke I said, and I kept replaying it, and it was the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Another human's laughter caused by you. Pure happiness. That's a true story, actually. Painting is my friend. It never lets me down. This is a lonely bitch. I was waiting to say that. You either go like gemstones or cats. They usually can't afford both. You know, there's a wage gap. The red-winged blackbird is something that's close to me. As a child, I always wished I could be that bird to go away. Sorry, I just tried to will myself to death. You are insufferable. I see why these rocks are hanging themselves. That's pretty good. Fly away and not come back. Growing up, my mother had some significant mental health issues. No kidding! You know, there's just some things you don't have to say out loud, but I like being right. And if you didn't know that before she said this, I have some terrible news for you. I never knew any kind of normalcy or structure. And as I got older, I never knew what a healthy relationship should look like. Doesn't she just sound like a bitch who's been to a therapist a lot? Like, this isn't how people talk about themselves, usually. Like, those are therapist words. No structure. You don't really come to that conclusion on your own. I was very, very naive. So I was very trusting. I've been married twice. I was married to my first husband for four years. Why do you talk like this? For four years. Yeah, I was in high school for four years. Annoying. And we had a son named Julian. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> Watch me call that he's actually dead. My husband was basically a womanizer and he would drink a lot. And so I left and never looked back. The dude liked alcohol and pussy. Sounds like a cool guy. <laughs> 
Love doesn't come in that nice, neat little package that we thought so as uh, little girls, you know? We thought, oh, our Prince Charming's coming. Well, they don't teach you that, you know, sometimes it's the big bad wolf. <laughs> Whoa. By the way, I'm telling you this with complete certainty. She does this when the cameras aren't there. Guaranteed. Like, if you were to watch her through the window, you would just see this. The big bad wolf. I met my second husband shortly after I left my first, and we married rather quickly after I got pregnant with my daughter, Sandy. Did this one die? Can I call this one? Am I calling it? Brought to you by DraftKings. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. I was married to Sandy's father for 23 years. That number makes more sense to say like that. You're almost getting tonality down. Because that's almost my entire fucking life. I'm 27. Surprise. And then everything started going south. Damn, bitch, got some nice rings on, bro. I'm going to mug this bitch. Just a joke, YouTube, but I would never harm her. I don't own a ski mask. There is no way I would ever do such a thing. I don't think I could scare a person into giving me their jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I would never be like, give me your fucking jewelry right now with a ski mask on. I don't own two of them and a bulletproof vest. I don't. He started traveling more than normal for work. So I started to get suspicious. I hired a private detective and they showed me photos of him with another woman in another country. I believed all of that till you said that last part. Your private investigator flew out to another country? What was the bill on that? I mean, it must have taken a while for him to get there by horse and carriage. Also, here's a tip to every person on Earth. Uh, if you have the feeling to get a private investigator for your significant other... You should leave them. It reminds me of like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, how they were like recording each other's arguments. It's like, uh, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't know why I brought that up, but it seems relevant somehow. I'm high, I forget. It was such a gut-wrenching time in my life that I lost Debbie for a while. I wanted to represent myself as an older woman that's half of a skeleton. We don't know what can happen to us. And, you know, and I wanted to capture that. This might be the worst episode I've ever seen. This bitch is psychotic. Put her in a home. She's just saying things. Made myself half a skeleton because we never know what we're going to become. Maybe I'll be a pumpkin. Ooh, I hope I turn into an Xbox. She's doing this, like, long Alzheimer's rant. It's like she just keeps forgetting that she's talking. For 12 years. I... <laughs> the way she says years, bro, this bitch is so mad. She's wasted so much of her time. She hates that she's old as fuck. How does she feel that the rocks she uses for jewelry are younger than her? I sat behind closed doors. I swore off men until I met Osama. <laughs> the first thing I imagined was that was the intro for like an ISIS recruitment video. <laughs> I love Osama. And then it's just a beheading and they're like, yeah, fuck that. Let's see what Osama bin Laden looks like. Cuckoo papa. Cuckoo papa. He's mysterious. He's from Morocco. He is an artist and a poet. And he doesn't even know it. I don't know why I had to. So, uh, he's poor. Makes no money, right? Is that what you're saying? He's unemployed. I mean, same. I'm just projecting. I'm just pointing out the facts that I know. Got me hooked with your wild ways and the dog Okay, these pictures all don't look like the same guy. Doesn't look like an Osama bin Laden. 
The mustache really changes him. You know, the mustache, when he has that, makes him look like both sides of an Amber Alert. I met Osama Bin Laden on social media. He commented about my artwork, and he was very complimentary. And every now and then, I'd get another message, and then all of a sudden... His big, veiny cock popped up, and I was like, oh, I must paint that penis portrait. And ever since then, I've been addicted to drawing cocks. He's, he's like a, a tree that takes root in your heart. Like Georgie? We had so much in common. If she wasn't an old witch, this wouldn't be creepy, but it is. It's like she's drawing his death. Like MySpace told me I'm supposed to die in New York. It says I'm gonna get shot there, so I'm trying to go. We're gonna leave this one on a cliffhanger because I can't wait to hear this guy talk. What is his accent gonna be like? Does he sound different without the mustache? It'd be funny if it gave him like an extra octave. I hate her tremendously. And I'm sure her kids do too. I see why she's twice divorced. Very easy to cheat on. She's sworn off men till she met this guy. I can't wait to meet this guy. I'm gonna judge the shit out of him. But I'm not gonna judge you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate it so much. You know, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, I actually have a Patreon with a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears and TLC loves to copyright claim my tight little sweetness. Feel like I'm doing a song. I say the same thing every time. I just heard a guy in a YouTube video say that false copyright claims are illegal. I would love to do something about that. I don't have the money to sue. Somebody commented saying, when I was talking about Darcy's jewelry, they're like, yeah, I know yours is real. It's not. It should be like 20 grand. Would be in this fucking storage room. But one day, duh, one day if it is illegal and I can sue them for it, I'm gonna do it. Even if I lose money, it's the principle. Okay, I'm dead ass serious. Do I look like I give a shit about money? Patreon.com slash Ryan like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and TLC copyright claiming my asshole, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. We hitting 100K so soon. Let's go. Mm -hmm.